Process safety cards put knowledge into the hands of those who may contribute to, or be affected by, loss of containment events. Players are encouraged and helped to learn, and apply, simple principles. Remember events. Recognize causes or threats. Respect controls and barriers. And, report your concerns. Then, there's an obligation on the duty holder, or owner and operator, to respond to feedback, and promptly recover the protection. Playing cards create curiosity and catalyze conversations. These are split into four suits. Degradation or failure within design conditions or under strength. Discharge via an open route to atmosphere. Damage or external impact. And deviation or failure beyond design conditions or overstress. Operational opportunities. Passive learning via familiar informal games. Toolbox talks. For example, explain your experience of the card you've been dealt. Quick quiz. For example, name the event on the untitled card. Hazards reminder. For example, attach relevant cards to a permit to work. Hazard spotting. For example, Cards used to tag vulnerable locations during walk round. Inductions. For example, visitors, suppliers, maintenance or outage, turnaround or project personnel. Engineering or management opportunities. Safety moments. For example, discuss your role related to the card you've been dealt. Process hazard analysis validation. For example, Ensure all deviations or cards have been discussed. Performance dashboards. For example, incidents are categorized by loss of containment or card type. Relate cards to company or industry incidents. For example, relevant CSB investigations. Hazard potential. For example, add up the values of each card. Ace is 11, King, Queen and Jack are 10, and other cards are numbered. Campaigns. For example, each week, showcase specific events or card topics. Scenarios or bow ties enhance understanding. The UK HSC Bunsfield Inquiry challenged companies to ask themselves, do we understand what could go wrong? Do we know what our systems are to prevent this happening? And do we have information to assure us that they are working effectively? Scenarios are summarized with one loss of containment event or bow type a sheet with causes or threats, controls or barriers, effectiveness and or vulnerabilities by barrier type, degradation factors or holes in the Swiss cheese model, and relative risk ranking based on threat likelihood and release severity. Scenarios can be posted in prominent locations, either physically for example, in control rooms, canteens, workshops or meeting rooms. And or digitally. For example, on an intranet, SharePoint or via newsletters. Asset integrity or process safety is not the absence of incidents. It's the presence and performance of human and hardware barriers. Barriers are imperfect and fallible. They can be degraded, operated beyond design limits or design life defeated, overridden, or inappropriately adjusted due to poor management of change, deleted, removed due to poor management of change, or dismissed, not fitted due to poor design control or poor action management. You must ensure that they are fit for purpose, assets and protection that are big enough, fast enough, and strong enough, fit for service, regularly and properly maintained and tested fit for duty, with competent and capable personnel. It is said, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. But, if you don't understand it, you also can't manage it. Cards create awareness. Bow ties enhance understanding. Knowing your enemy increases vigilance, which helps to improve protection and asset integrity. For more information visit www.processsafetycards.com.